bathtub so I could pretend to give all my toy friends a bath. I found all this fun stuff that goes together with a bath. Like, what's this? A rubber ducky. That's right. Rubber duckies go together with bath time. Do you know what else goes together with bath time? Bubbles. Bubbles are so much fun. Let's all splash and make lots of pretend bubbles. Ready? Splish, splash, splish, splash. Bubbles go together with bath time too. There's another thing that goes together with bath time. A fuzzy towel. Towels go together with bath time. All righty. Now, who needs a bath? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy! Who? Who? Playing with things that go together, are you? Hey, Ollie! I sure am! All these things go together with my new baby bathtub! Tubs and duckies go together? It's true! But I know a friend who goes together with you! Listen to this story! Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, hola, friends. It's so good to see you. My name's Luis. I'm getting a fun game ready for my niece's birthday party. <laughs> it's called Ducks and Water. They just go together, don't they? <laughs> We're going to see how many of these ducks we can get to float in this little pool. <laughs> this reminds me of a story from the Bible. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno! Dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins at a beach where... Jesus had been teaching people all day. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to get in a boat to go across the lake. Jesus said goodbye to the crowd, and he went up to a mountain to pray by himself. While the disciples were in the boat, the wind began to blow. Can you help me be the wind? Put your arms up like this and be the wind. Woo, woo, woo. Ready? One, two, three. Three, go! <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> okay, stop. The wind was rocking the boat back and forth, and the disciples didn't know what to do. Just then, they saw something on the water. Do you see it? Raise your hand if you see it. Oh, it looks like... A person! Jesus' friends were scared. Ooh, can you show me your scared faces? That's exactly how they felt. And they thought, could there really be a person walking on water? Huh. Who do you think it was walking on the water towards them? Hmm. Let's see. 
All of a sudden, the person said, It's me. Don't be afraid. It was Jesus walking on the water. The disciples were so happy to see Jesus and amazed to see him walking on water because they didn't think anyone could walk on the water. <laughs> well, right away, Peter said, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat. And guess what? Peter started walking on the water towards Jesus. Only Jesus could help Peter walk on the water. But then Peter looked around and he saw the wind. And he got scared and he started to sink in the water. But Jesus reached out and caught him so he wouldn't sink. Then they got back in the boat together. Wow! Jesus was with Peter and Jesus is always with us too. Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was always with Peter, and Jesus is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus is always with Peter, and Jesus is always with us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Good! Bubbles and bath time go together. But the best thing that goes together are my friend Jesus and me. See you guys next time. Bye!